Hi there, welcome back to the Cordless Vacuum Guide, and in this video, we'll be comparing two Ecovacs D-Bot robots, specifically the T8 AIVI and the N8 Pro Plus. Not just the similarities and differences, but also some important facts that will help you make an informed choice between a different subset of models within each variant. I also missed some things in the N8 Pro review, which I'll address in this video. The T8 AIVI and the N8 Pro have obstacle avoidance sensors up front enabling both to evade objects better than a robot vacuum without it. However, one difference is that the T8 AIVI model utilizes a single lens camera while the N8 Pro uses three later sensors. And the question is, which of these two is better at avoiding objects? So I put both robots through my usual series of tests, not just with obstacle avoidance, but also other aspects like navigation, cleaning performance, and more. There's a lot to unpack and let's get into it. I mentioned in my previous review that the N8 Pro was Ecovacs' flagship, but I was wrong. The N8 Pro is actually a budget alternative to the T8 series. One downgrade is the smaller 3200 mAh lithium-ion battery, cutting the runtime from 180 minutes to 110 minutes. The 70 minute difference shouldn't matter much inside smaller homes, but it could be in larger mansions since it will take longer to finish even with recharge and resume. Other than the battery and front obstacle sensor variants, Everything else remains the same. The T8 and N8 have the same dustbin, side brush, combo brush, and use the same motor based on the airflow tests, which I'll share later in this video. Submodels without the auto empty station will have the dustbin without these slots, but Ecovacs does include a compatible dustbin in the package with the two outlet ports. Depending on what submodel you choose, there will be variations with the features. For instance, the T8 lineup has several different submodels. The unit I tested is a T8 AIVI with a front-facing camera. An optional auto-empty station is available for those who want the self-emptying convenience. A robot plus auto-empty dock set is also available if you don't want to bother doing separate orders, but it could be more costly depending on where you purchase. All T8 variants have a large capacity 5200 mAh lithium-ion battery, which runs longer, up to 180 minutes, but not all have the front-facing camera. There are T8 submodels that use a 3D front sensor like the T8 without the AIVI. One quick way to distinguish between a model with a front facing camera or front 3D sensors in shopping sites is by looking at this area in front of the LiDAR cover. If you see the words True Detect 3D, that means it has the front 3D sensors. But if you see a curved strip without any wording, that means it has a front facing camera, aka the AIVI model. According to the Ecovac site, only the T8 is compatible with the Osmo Pro mopping system. So the T8 is a better alternative if you want to upgrade the mopping performance. I've tested the AIVI and True Detect 3D obstacle avoidance system extensively with mixed results. Overall, I like the True Detect 3D system better since it has fewer blind spots, helping it avoid stuff like wires other robot vacuums have trouble with. These laser sensors aren't perfect though. For instance, while it avoided wires and shoes well, it still tried to climb this weighing scale. But when I moved it towards the edge, it avoided it, which is a good sign since it's a more realistic era to store a weighing scale. What impressed me with the True Detect 3D system is how it avoided these wires without it getting caught up on the side brushes. The AIVI system is pretty good, but it had more blind spots than the 3D lasers. You'll see in this overhead shot that while it avoided these wires to an extent, it did not avoid them completely. One of the side brushes caught the wire which is an Achilles heel of most robot vacuums with a side brush. Compared to the True Detect 3D lasers, you could see the difference. Both obstacle sensors avoided this fake poop, but I don't recommend leaving pet feces scattered as a side brush could touch it and spread it all over, leaving a huge mess. I'd give the True Detect 3D system the edge over the AIVI since it avoided a wide range of obstacles better thanks to the laser sensors that provided better precision. The AIVI is decent, but it's a notch below since a single lens camera had more blind spots. If you have privacy concerns with the camera potentially spying on your home, go with the 3D sensors. There isn't much difference with navigation, as both move in a similar pattern, taking the shorter path from end to end, so expect the same type of efficiency with these robots. Both models have identical containment features, namely invisible walls and no-go zones for blocking off-limit areas, essential inside most homes. There's also a no-map zone feature but these robots have carpet sensors, so it avoids carpets and rugs automatically with a mopping pad attached. Expect the same app features for both variants. However, if you choose a model without the auto-empty station, 
it won't have this empty dust icon that engages the dock's self-emptying cycle. Airflow results for the T8 and N8 Pro are nearly identical. The numbers favor the T8, but the difference is too small to declare an outright winner. Cheating tests confirm the airflow results as these models have nearly identical results on surface and embedded dirt. While the N8 Pro had higher averages overall, the difference was less than half a percent, so expect similar results in the real world. Surprisingly, the N8 Pro was better in the hair wrap test, picking up more hair on both the 5 and 7 inch test. Edge cleaning results are identical for both robots as the twin side brushes were excellent at debris pickup in this area. Mopping results also mirror one another as both needed a second run to remove these red wine stains. It's a notch below the S5 Max since it can only do a two pass run versus Roborox 3. But for light duty mopping, both are up to the task, leaving only minimal residue. To conclude this comparison, the Ecovacs T8 AIVI and N8 Pro series have identical features since both share the same components with a few exceptions. Two main differences include the battery and obstacle avoidance system. The T8 comes with a larger 5200 mAh lithium ion battery, enabling it to run much longer at 180 minutes, while the N8 Pro uses a smaller 3200 mAh battery, cutting the runtime down to 110 minutes. Choosing between these robots will boil down to how much you're willing to spend and perhaps how big your home is. The T8 is better suited inside large homes where its lengthy runtime will be most helpful. Otherwise, I'd go with a cheaper N8 Pro since it cleans as well as the T8 minus the premium cost. My choice between the AI VI and TrueDetect 3D sensors would be the latter since laser sensors are more precise, having fewer blind spots, and avoids obstacles better. Let me know what you think about these robots in the comment section below. Consider giving this video a thumbs up if it has been helpful to you. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for future comparisons like this. Links are in the description for more information. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.